Adonis Stevenson knocks out Tommy Carpensi in the third round. Total mismatch. Carpensi is a boxer. He's not a puncher. He's not a pressure fighter. So he was attempting to box with Adonis Stevenson and try and catch him with counter punches. But he was unable to overcome the reach disadvantage that he had, which was significant. And I've mentioned this in many videos about Adonis Stevenson in the past. Stevenson has incredibly long arms for his height. He's only 5'11", but he has a 77 inch reach. And just to put that in perspective, David Hay is a six foot three inch heavyweight and he only has a 78 inch reach. And his reach is not small for a fighter of his height by any stretch of the imagination. David Hay has pretty long arms for a guy who's 6'3". And even he only has a one inch longer reach than Adonis Stevenson. And that is why Stevenson, even when he fights significantly taller guys like Tony Bellew and Andre Fonfara, Stevenson was still able to control both those guys on the outside, despite the fact they were significantly taller than him because his arms are just ridiculously long for his height. And that's one of his biggest strengths, that extremely long reach that he has. And basically, Carpensi, given the fact he was trying to box, you know, box with Stevenson and having that reach disadvantage there, he was a sitting duck for Stevenson's left hand because Stevenson just kept him on the end of that pulling right jab maneuvered him into position and then lowered the boom and dropped that big straight left. And Carpensi was down in the second round. He got up, but he was down again very quickly in the third. The first knockdown really was the end of the fight because he didn't recover in these 60 seconds between rounds two and rounds three. And Stevenson was just able to finish him off. So total mismatch, easy fight for Stevenson. And as much as I do like watching Adonis Stevenson, I like his style, even though it is kind of one dimensional, I do wish he would put some pop into that jab and maybe mix in some right hooks and different kind of things. And I know he can do it because earlier on in Stevenson's career, he used to do it. But under Manny Stewart and now Manny Stewart's nephew, Sugar Hill, he's become more of a left hand merchant. He's, he's, he's kind of become similar to Vladimir Klitschko a southpaw light heavyweight version, but without the, uh, you know, without the, the forehand that Klitschko has. And when I say forehand, I'm talking about Klitschko being an orthodox fighter. He has a great left hook, not just that great right hand. Whereas with Stevenson, and he has a great jab too. <laughs> Actually, the Klitschko comparison wasn't good. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, Klitschko's a cautious guy who tries to box with you. He don't want to fight with you. And Stevenson has become that way as well. Earlier on in Stevenson's career, he would fight with guys, but he ended up ended up getting himself knocked out by Darnell Boone in the first Boone fight. So he stopped that under Manny Stewart and Sugar Hill, and now he's just using those ridiculously long arms to keep guys on the end of his reach and force mistakes out of them and then strike with that big left. And it is a one-dimensional style, because you don't see him knocking people out with a right hand or anything like that. You don't see him people. You don't see him punishing people with a jab. He is one of my favorite fighters to watch because of that big left hand alone. But it has to be said, Stevenson has had one of the easiest title reigns of any champion in boxing at the moment over the past couple of years. Since he knocked out Chad Dawson. His level of opposition has got progressively worse, actually. Apart from Fonfara, maybe. Because Fonfara is a decent fighter, although nothing spectacular. And Fonfara gave him his best fight. But other than Fonfara, his level of opposition has been getting worse and worse and worse. Particularly over his last few fights. And this is probably the worst opponent he's fought so far, you know, so far during his title reign. Tommy Carpensi. So I hope that they do something over there in the Al Heyman <laughs> setup, management setup. I hope they do something and or advisory setup and actually get Adonis Stevenson a decent challenger. If the Sergey Kovalev fight can't be made for you know network reasons or whatever, Get him someone else. I know there's people out there better than the likes of Tommy Carpensi. You've got Arta Baturbiev. 
There's no reason why Baturbiev can't fight Stevenson and he should be fighting Stevenson. Unless Baturbiev's people feel like he ain't ready for that yet, he should be fighting the likes of Adonis Stevenson. Stevenson needs opponents like that. And I know it's not a big name. Maybe Stevenson won't be keen on it, but I really feel Al Heyman needs to force that upon him because knocking over people like Tommy Carpensi, come on, people. This is barely any better than Rod Salka. So... Yeah, Stevenson needs to step up his level of opposition. Al Heyman needs to do his job. Get him some decent opponents. If he ain't going to get the Kovalev fight, get the Baturbiev fight on. Even some of the other contenders out there. There are some Cuban fighters at light heavyweight and some other guys. The guy who just fought Jean Pascal. I mean, even Jean Pascal would be better than Tommy Carpensi, even though I'm not really a big Pascal fan. But drop your comments below, people. Let me know what you thought of this performance. I've been saying of recent times that I think Stevenson's been regressing. Here against Tommy Carpensi, he, to me, it didn't show, there didn't seem to be that much regression, but it's really hard to tell when he's fighting such a poor quality opponent. But uh, let me know what you thought, people. Do you think he's regressing? What did you think of the performance? And do you echo my sentiments in terms of Stevenson needing to step up his level of opposition? Because Tommy Carpensi really, really is way, way, way below the kind of level that Stevenson needs to be boxing at. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out.